on guys and today we're taking a look at how to level and build athena jungle at the end of season four now i already did an athena support obviously this is a jungle it's going to be a little different now athena jungle has fallen out of the meta i wouldn't really say it was ever in the meta um but it definitely had its spike popularity because of weekend weekend single-handedly made athena jungle a thing so if it wasn't in fact he's got his own skin for that so if it wasn't for him you wouldn't see Athena. <laughs> We're going to start off with leveling the abilities. Now, when you're at level one, you're going to want to get your um, your three first. Your three is your main ability. If you don't know what that is, it's your clear, it's your damage, it's everything. Once you hit level two, you're going to want to get your taunt. Your taunt is going to set up your combo. Basically, nice. you taunt in, or you're going to want to set down your three and then taunt them into it. And it's going to deal initial damage and secondary damage. So... Once you get to level three, you can decide this on your own. Since you are jungling, if you feel as if you're gonna be ganking soon, go ahead and get your one. That way you can dash in and use your full combo. If you're level three and you're just now going to um, speed buff and blue buff and stuff like that, and you're about to get camps, I would just go ahead and put a second point into your three. That way you can get a little better camp clear and stuff like that. Um, and then once you hit four, you can get your one. And then once you get to five, get your ultimate. I'll show you her abilities if you're not familiar with them, you can read them yourself. From there on, your priority is going to be your ultimate whenever you possibly can, because the cooldown uh, reduces on it every single time. So get your ult whenever you can, then your shield wall, then your taunt, and then your one. So basically the priority is 4, 3, 2, 1. It's pretty simple. Now, the build, since we are jungling and we're not support, it's going to be a little different start, obviously. Um, I'm going to start off with the almighty Boomba's Mask, since we are jungling. It's a, net, uh, it's a must. And... This relic, uh, second one depends on who you're playing against. If you're playing a full physical team, you can maybe get a Vamp Shroud. Um, but I would honestly recommend a Sands of Time as your second more times than not. I, I would only get that in a very situational um, circumstance, but you're going to want to get Sands of Time. It gives you magical power, which is going to help you early on clear since you are a guardian. It gives you a little mana for five, which would definitely help. And it gives you some cooldown, which you can never go wrong with. And the passive is it grants two mana for five per 10% of your missing mana. So it's a great item. Boots, you're gonna to want to get pen boots. Uh, a lot of people might say, why not cooldown boots, get the cooldown, but this is a glass cannon jungle build. I wouldn't say glass cannon, but damn near close to it. You're gonna be putting the hurts on people with this build, so you're gonna to want to go pen boots. Second item, um, might surprise a little people, it is an expensive item, but this sets you up for the entire game, and that's Chronos Pendant. It is 2750, but it gives you 80 power. 25 mana per 5, 20% cooldown, and every 10 seconds subtracts 1 second from your cooldown. So, you get double cooldown with it, you get some mana, you get a lot of power. It's a really good item, and I just think you gotta get it. Next item, uh, it depends on how the game's going. If it's going really, really well, like you're just snowballing, you might want to get greedy and just kind of sneak a Polynomicon in there right now. Um, but more than likely, I'd say before that, you want to go ahead and get a Void Stone. Void Stone is a staple in Athena builds and any aggressive support. So if you're playing a support jungle or a, a guardian jungle, you have to go Void Stone. If you're playing a Mirror jungle, if you're playing a Bracken jungle, if you're playing Athena jungle, you have to go Void Stone. You have to. It's almost a law. In fact, you might go to Smite Jail if you don't. So get Void Stone. It gives you. 150 health, 20 power, 60 magical protection, and enemy gods within 55 units have their protections reduced by 20. Phenomenal item. After that, here's where Polly comes into play. Gives you 75 power, 300 mana, 12% lifesteal, which isn't meh. Um, but using your ability, using a ability gives your next basic attack within 8 seconds, 75% increased magical power as additional magic damage. So basically, if you don't know what that means, I want you to take a look at this. I'm going to cast an ability, which is just going to be my dash. And watch my next basic attack. Deals an extra 178 damage. So now let's say I use my three. My next basic attack, extra 178. So you can chain this up with anything. You can chain it with your taunt, basic attack. You can chain it with your three, basic attack. Or you could dash in, three, basic attack, hit him. You burst with Polynomicon. It is amazing on her. Uh, it'll jungle wise i wouldn't do it as a support item but athena jungle polynomicon just destroys now at some point you're obviously going to be selling bumba's mask and sands of time it'll probably be before this but next item you're going to want to get the final two i should say you can kind of decide i would honestly get rod first i know that's kind of a last item um but you'll see why rod it's a it gives you that 125 power 30 mana per five and increases your power by 25 percent 
It's an expensive item, but this is just gonna just set you over the top. Final item, and you can switch these two out um, if you think you need to get this one first since it's a little cheaper. Soul Reaver. It is 2750, 100 power, 300 mana. Whenever God takes damage from your abilities, they take 10% of their maximum health and additional true damage. That's the key, true damage negates protections. If multiple gods are hit, the damage is applied to the one with the greatest maximum health. So basically, Soul Reaver and Polynomicon are like, are like first cousins. Like, you don't need them together, but if you're getting one, go ahead and get the other. Uh, if you play Al Kwong, you know what I mean. Al Kwong, you just essentially need these two items together. So we're going to do a little example. I'm just going to hit my three. Just one ability. And I want you to look at the extra damage it's done. 54. 413. 413 extra damage just from item passives. Get them together. I promise you, you you're not going to be the tankiest thing in the world, but you're jungling. You will absolutely destroy people with this build. They will not know what hit them. Uh, it, it'll it'll be fun, to say the least. Relics. First item. Situational. You might want to get a Hand of the Gods. I know that's not meta at all. But because you are a Guardian Jungle, you might not have the best clear. Um, but Athena has really good camp clear with her three, though. So you might want to skip on a Hand of the Gods. You could also get something like a Shell. That's always good on any Guardian or um, Frenzy. But if you're going first item, probably Hand of the Gods or Heavenly Wings. Those would be your best bets. And then second item, probably a team fighting item, like Frenzy or Shell or Meditate. Nah, I don't get that second item, but something like that. That is going to wrap up the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like and hit subscribe for more content like this. And be sure to drop in the comments if you did run with this and let me know how you did. Let's see. I want to see how many people actually did good with this build because... The other builds I've been doing are kind of, I wouldn't say standard, but they're support builds, they're soul lane builds. Athena jungle's different. Um, it's a it's a guardian playing jungle, so obviously you're going to be playing a lot different than you normally would. So let me know how you guys did, and until next time, peace.